geographic area that did not experience the empowerment movement the same way New Yorkers did and people in California and people in major urban centers. We don't have a, a large population of people who are particularly proactive in their health care and in the decision making that actually affects their everyday lives. We are a population of 10,000 HIV survivors in Mississippi that don't know what it's like in other places in terms of the quality of life that's possible to live with a lot of the things that Ryan White has to offer, a lot of things that ADAP has to offer. We don't have a waiting list in Mississippi for ADAP. We have, there have been folks working in Mississippi very hard to make certain that we don't. But the concern that I have about that is that we have an invisible waiting list. We have people who have never been in care. The state of Mississippi, the health department, has has come out with the uh, statistic and the, and the declaration that they are certain that over well over 50% of all HIV known HIV cases in Mississippi are not receiving care. The best hope is to empower people themselves, because our little organization, uh, or any organization, or any unified uh, coalition, can only do so much. People don't know what HRSA means, or HOPWA, or ADAP, or Ryan White. They can't tell you what it what it means. So, the more we get educated ourselves, so it starts right here within us. It's very hard to get the rest of our country impassioned about what's going on down here. The leadership here in the state is changing. They, that's the good news. But I would like to see more of our national allies and partners and peers uh, step up to the plate and say, no, this doesn't happen to us here in New York City, and it's not going to happen down in Mississippi. We're not going to allow it because these are our brothers and sisters who are living with HIV, and we're not going to turn our backs on them.